to have Tim come up. Tim was come. He came up yesterday. He was up on Thursday. We attended all of the dog sled races. We really enjoyed that. We were handlers to get the dog sleds out on the trail. So we got him, taking him around. We took him around the whole of the town of Calumet. Today we're down in Houghton Hancock. Get the visitor center. We're going to the visitor center. Right. That's where we're going to also go today right. too. So we are on the move with that. So Tim, welcome, welcome to the whole town. And uh, it, it's really an honor and a pleasure to be here. Uh, it's good to be back in the UP. Uh, I haven't been here since, uh, I guess September was the last time I was in the UP. Uh, but it's especially great to be back in the Keevanaugh. I uh, have not been here uh, since about 10 years ago. Uh, I'm not a total stranger to the UP or to the Keevanaugh, but uh, it's been a little while since I've been up uh, the Houghton Hancock Way, and it's just a delightful, beautiful area here. I've always said it's the most beautiful part of the United States, and I would argue the world is the Keevanaugh Peninsula, so it's really an honor to be back up here. And it's great to have the Senator join us. I, you know, all of you may not fully realize this, but Senator Prusi is a living legend down in Lansing, very well respected. And, yes. and it's been a tough uh, couple years for Democrats in Lansing. You know, the Republicans have controlled everything down there. They've controlled the governorship, the state house, the state senate, the state supreme court, the secretary of state, the attorney general's office. And so it's been a tough couple of years, and we've seen the Republicans push a very extreme right-wing agenda. They have systematically slashed taxes for big corporations, and they've paid for those massive tax cuts by raising taxes on the rest of us. They started taxing seniors' pensions, they eliminated the child tax deduction, they eliminated the homestead tax credit, they dramatically cut the earned income tax credit, uh, and they also paid for those massive corporate tax cuts by cutting education funding at all levels, both K through 12 local schools as well as education, uh, educational funding for universities. And uh, it's really put Michigan uh, in the wrong direction. Uh, we did see a little bit of an uptick in the overall state economy back in 2011. And I know that the governor loves to try to take credit for that, but that had everything to do with the federal assistance to the auto industry, and the auto industry has come back, and nothing to do with this governor's policies. And, and we've seen that in the past year, the economy in the state has stagnated, it has not continued to grow, because this governor's priority of giving huge tax uh, giveaways to big corporations simply does not work in terms of jump-starting the economy. And we've also seen a real attack on workers' rights in this state, in a whole host of ways, but the most egregious was this uh, so-called right to work law, I call it right to work for less, that was passed in December. Uh, and we've seen other uh, real extreme approaches taken by the Republicans in Lansing. They have pushed for essentially the privatization of schools. They uh, have now pushed for so-called cyber schools, which can make sense in certain school districts for sure. Uh, and I'm very open to the idea of cyber schools in certain circumstances and for certain school districts, but they've unleashed just completely unregulated private <laughs> entity cyber schools without any safeguards. Uh, at the same time, they've totally uncapped the number of charter schools in the state, uh, and they have proposals to go in a, even further, more extreme directions by allowing charter schools, for example, to pick and choose which students they accept. So that instead of having to take all comers, charter schools could have entrance exams, for example, and really skim the cream of the crop from traditional public schools while rejecting other applicants and forcing traditional public schools to take only those students who are most struggling. So we have to continue to fight the good fight in Lansing and make sure that we're standing up for tax fairness we believe that we need to uh, cut taxes for middle class and working families and undo these tax hikes that the Republicans pushed last term. Uh, we also believe that the real key to our long-term economic success in this state is investing in education, uh, both K through 12 for our local school districts, but also higher education. And higher education isn't just important in terms of the long-term economic growth for our state by making sure that we have talented and educated uh, workforce, but it's also very important to a lot of local communities' economies. 
And there's probably no better example of that than uh, right across the canal in Houghton and, and here in Hancock too, with the important economic engine for this entire region that Michigan Tech uh, has been and continues to be. And it's a perfect example of why investing in higher education is so critical to our state's economic future. Uh, we want to continue to promote job creation and economic growth, and we want to do it in a responsible way that does not compromise or, or sacrifice our environment in the process. And I think that the, the two are not mutually exclusive. We can protect our environment while allowing for meaningful economic growth. And the, the mining industry has an important role to play. Uh, we just have to make sure that it's done in a way that does not compromise the quality of our waterways, especially our Great Lakes, which is certainly the most important resource our state has. I want to assure all of you that Representative Dianda is doing a fantastic job for you down in Lansing. He's only been there for about two months now, and he's already earned the respect, not just of Democrats on our side of the aisle, but also of Republicans on the other side of the aisle. He's really taken on a leadership role in the legislature, is very well respected, and he's fighting for the values that are important to all of us here in this room. Uh, he knows that we've got to do more to move our state forward while making sure that we're lifting the tide for all of the folks in our economy and that we're promoting the interests of middle class and working families and not just the big corporations. So the Representative Diana is fighting the good fight for you down there and he's going to do a wonderful job this term and beyond to make sure that he's protecting and that we're protecting as a caucus the interests of the Upper Peninsula. So let's give Representative Diana a hand for all of you.